Welcome back to Beer Factory. We are level four. We've got four out of 120 rep points. We've got $524. What I've done is I've ordered in, I think there's 24 bags of malt. And uh, credit to the devs, they're already working on updates for this game. They've changed the controls of this, so it's no longer inverted. And they've also changed the workers. They've got a 15 minute uh, until next paycheck sort of thing. So if we jump in this, we turn it on. And then if I very quickly jump out. I haven't had my coffee. Oh no, that's not a good start. And because we've got one worker on the input. We've got one worker sitting there doing nothing. So I need to try and make progress in the game so that the other worker can actually have a job to do because right now it says cleaning and there's nothing to clean so he's getting paid for nothing and i don't think you can fire your workers i'm not entirely sure but let's get these forks lifted up and lifted or put down no nope. oh wait yeah no that's another part of the update they changed the uh locking and unlocking the pallets so you don't need to because they've got anchor points on them and it was that you had to get all six anchor points sorted. But now you just need to get close to it and you can lock it on. So that's going to be incredibly helpful. It makes the game a million times better. And they said that some of the settings they've changed, you can uh, revert if you want to. Like if you want the old way. Uh, let's just put those down there because, uh, oh no, 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 no. Dude, dude, I'm still, I'm still offloading. Uh, so let's unlock it and then put it down. There we go. Let's back up. Yeah, there's one anchor point now. Does he... I'm guessing we have to turn it on and then he starts working. Let me just put this into a better position. There we go. That'll do. So let's power that on. Oh, no. It's dirty. Oh, there's... Right. If I just grab these, chuck them over here. There we go. Our spare employee can actually do something. Now it's in progress. Yeah, there we go. He's uh, loading everything up there. Uh, so I need to do the... I need to go get my coffee. And I need to uh, pay them for their time. And so if we go into the employee... Oh, you can fire them. Well, I don't need... Wait, Derek's level 5? How? Uh, Ethan, uh, I'm just... I'm going to leave you there. Screw it, I'm not going to fire you because something might come up that we need you for. You're not doing anything with the rubbish though, so you're not really helping, are you? Let's get all this lot sent off. And then after that, we figure out how much more we need to buy. So that's all going straight onto that pallet. I love the update they've done with the forklift with the time to next paycheck. Is all really, really helpful. Uh, oh, hold up, hold up. We didn't even need to connect that. Oh, that's really good. We don't need to be anywhere near the pallet to lock it on. Okay, so we have six. We need another 15. So let me go order those. I'm wondering just how close we actually need to be. So if we open the doors of this and we jump in, we just need that anchor point to go green. Oh, is the green there? Oh, but it's not letting me lock them. There we, oh, no. There we go. It does from there. Oh, no. We may have a problem. I've taken my thing out and the truck's stuck. It hasn't closed. We'll see if it disappears by the time we've got this sorted. That could be a problem. And I don't know. We may have to re-log. There we go. So he's getting to work. Oh, I'm loving this. Absolutely loving it. Uh, I do need to grab extra fuel. Truck's still here. That's not good. Mate, you can go. Right, I've saved the game. And what I'm going to do is go back to the menu and then come back. And so it started us off at night time. Wait, why do we have a pallet there? Did I calculate wrong? 
No, there were six on there, wasn't there? We need to do the fuse box, because then we have light. Uh, oh wait, hold up. Why do we have a pallet here? That's raw. Let me grab a coffee quickly. And one thing I noticed is it resets the paycheck to five minutes when you first log on. But now that we can sprint, if we get this door open as well, we don't have a pallet there. So it's taken the pallet from that, uh, from the input. Oh, dude's doing uh, cleaning now. So, oh, we're back to full fuel. That's nice. So let's get this bad boy spun around. So is this the last three bags we need? Uh, that's too far. I want it about there. Uh... If we unlock, lower that. Oh no, I've dragged it with me. No. There we go. Uh, now if we put it down. There we, no, lift up a little bit maybe. There we go, we're out. So why is our dude not working? Oh, I need to power on the machine. Don't worry. Okay, so now he's still loading the conveyor belts working. Our dude's picking up the rubbish. So we need to do 21. Hopefully we have 15. We should have 15 in there, right? After he's done that lot. So let's refine all the grain. And we'll just see what happens. I'm going to count as they come out. There was 15. So that is that part done. So if we turn the engine on. Let's go over and grab this pallet. Being careful not to get in the way of our cleaner. And then lock that on. Uh, lift it up a little bit. And then away we go with this to the pickup, and that'll be another contract complete. And it says finish the construction and unlock the brewery in the underground. Uh, contract, except, oh wait, no, validate. We have to do 28 for a single job. So 757 we're getting for that, and 33 points of rep. So there's a new one popping up in 30 seconds, but if we go to upgrades, we've got all of that stuff. The brewery is 1100. We do have enough. We just don't have enough of bottling or the docks. Uh, we have the grain crusher. So, it says and underground. So, here we go. Wow. A whole new section unlocked. We need to buy and place a brew tank. Wait a minute. So, this is our starting area. There's our grain crusher. We've unlocked this entire area. So, if I open the gates there that was all like construction stuff there we have a ramp that goes down that side and then can we use that that one's not usable i'm guessing but then if we come back over here towards the office this door opened up and look we can go down this way so what have we got? We've got... Let me grab a coffee from down here. It says we need to buy a brew tank. I don't know how to get one. We will figure it out. Now we've had our coffee. Wait, so what's all the... the where are we going here? Oh, there's another... That door's opened up too. Okay, and then this way... Oh, we have storage shelves. This place is fucking gigantic. So this is the ramp that leads back up into here, yeah. Okay, so back down here, we've got all these storage shelves. We've got a massive, massive empty room. And then nothing back here. Yay, the delivery truck uh, sorted itself out. It's actually working now. Oh, I owe my staff money. And that's why I couldn't find it. I found it now. The brew tank is $500. And it is not found on the computer. Even though it's showing me it is. It's uh, found using the toolbox. So you can get the conveyor stuff. You can get a coffee machine. A pallet slot. 
You can buy a whole new computer, which we will do eventually. Uh, we'll have to do that for downstairs. Uh, yeah, five hundred dollars for a brew tank. Uh, if I had to grab the broom quickly as well, at least that way we've got our tools. I've just noticed this might start fulfilling the contract ID six. It might not do five, so I might have to buy more to fulfill that contract. Oh, I didn't think about taking one at a time. You're doing nothing. So, assign a workstation. Follow me. Who's this? Who are you? Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Reward 36 rep. So, as long as we keep it clean, we'll eventually uh, get rep when they come around to inspect. So that is the 28 job done. We'll take the money and the rep. Oh, we've unlocked a new slot for another contract. Nice, we hit rep level five. So delivery, we need 23 of these again. I am telling you now, the fact that they've done the anchor points is incredible. Like I can't stress enough how frustrating it was at the start of the game to get all six anchor points sorted and lock your pallets on your forklift. But now you don't even actually need to have your forks inside the pallet. And it's so helpful. Like it's, it makes it so much easier to manage. And hopefully after this job, uh, we can get... That's Derek. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can get Ethan a proper job besides standing still saying he's cleaning when he's not doing anything. How many more you got? Uh, you've got three more on there. I, I don't want to. I was going to pick one up, but I don't want to interfere. Like they're placed so neatly, I love it. Mine were going all over the place. We still got. Yeah, look, we still got a lost pallet, uh, a lost bag, or sack of uh, raw malt stuck down there. Right, so let's refine all this grain. That will be the contract complete, and then we get the brew tank. So if we validate that, another six hundred and seventy. 34 rep. We've got $1,400. So if I grab the toolbox, open the build menu, brew tank. Oh, this is rather large. Can we place it here? No, I'm guessing it's got a fixed slot downstairs. I don't actually know where to place this. I can place it anywhere down here, but it keeps locking itself in place from time to time. I'm just going to place it in the middle of the room. Create a recipe. Oh, no. Look at that. What? Oh, we can move it if we want to. We can put stairs on it. How do I do the stairs? Wow. I, I don't know if the stairs were a good idea to put there. Tank name, current brew. We've got to go make a recipe, you know. Uh, on the computer. See, I don't have enough money. I want to get a little office down here. I've got to run all the way back upstairs. So, recipes, create a new one. Oh, here we go. Recipe name. So, we're going to name this one beer. And in terms of the settings, you can put like chili peppers and stuff in them. Ginger, licorice, 10% yeast. And then we go 65% malt. I, I don't know if that's any good. Estimated brewing costs. Take the current market price. Resource quantity cost. It's not. Oh, wait. Hold up. Here we go. Oh, look. You can change the appearance of it. And every, this is cool. So for 10 liters of the stuff. Uh, three crushed malt. One hop. One yeast. 40 liters of water. Gonna cost eighty eight sixty seven, and then for a thousand liters it goes up to six and a half grand. So there we go. Popularity is eighty percent. Okay, so now we've made the recipe. What do we do? Order water. It's a good thing you. Uh, it's a good thing to have more than you need. So there we go. Where was it? Was it tanks? Yeah, water. Let's just try and do about five hundred liters for now. We we'll do four nine nine. That's $165, pretty much. Order it. Convey a large new buildable item. 
I can see a truck out there. Okay, let's go round. Let's see what... Oh, it's a big... Okay, I get it. Open the valve. Is it this? There we go. Order a pallet of hop. Oh, it shows you it filling up with how much uh, water you've got. So I've got the hop on the forklift, but because I did two orders, I'm going to have to use the manual one to get inside the truck. It's either that or I manually empty the uh, pallet. So yes, look, this is a lot better. I mean, it's rapid now. I don't know what they've done to the speed of it. It's scary. And there we go. We've locked that on. So if we back it up to there, come off the vehicle. I've actually successfully done it. I don't know if this is yeast storage. I mean, we're going to find out. I'm guessing it is. There we go. Unpack one. Uh, hold your horses. I want to pack all of my yeast. So unpack. Uh, if we grab, go to your computer and launch your first brew. What do you mean launch it? The, what have I got to do with this? Let me just sit that up there. Got to go all the way back upstairs to the computer. I need a computer down here. Like desperately. So if we do start. 58% put... Oh, it's, it's gone down. Desired quantity. I have no malt. But apparently it's going to take four minutes. Uh, because of the water we've got. I need a lot of crushed malt. Uh, let's just try that. Tank's being filled with water. So we've got Derek doing his job. He is loading up the conveyor belt. And... I really, really, really hope that it's 24, uh, 26 kilos we need because it's 24 kilos per bag. If it's 26 bags, we're done. So now we've got our crushed malt. Let's go downstairs and it's uh, the moment of truth when we get down there. So here we go. We've got 24 kilos. Please tell me this is enough. Uh, one out of 26, it's bags. It's not, um, it's not kilos, it's actual bags. Because that's now saying two. Oh, what have I done? So if I put the yeast in there, can I not put yeast in there? Is that for like the next part of the process? I've got to do another 16. The popularity is like nobody's going to want this beer. So I've just put $100 worth of crushed malt in there. Oh, uh, I need a hun another $160 worth. Uh, let's just say I'm so glad that I've got the malt. I can just chuck it at him. And he's given us wheels one. We've got some new wheels for the forklift. He does my absolute head in. Right, let me just chuck this one in. I'm sorry, Derek. I'm taking your job, mate. So we now have everything we need. I just need to come back upstairs and grab the hot after I've dropped all this uh, crushed malt. You can just buy this crushed. So it eliminates part of the process, but it doubles the cost. So I thought we'd do it all on our own. It don't take long to chuck it in the grain crusher. Um... But yeah, once we've done this, we have enough hop, we have enough yeast. So we should be underway to make our own beer. I'm just wondering, if we put a pallet slot down here, can a worker, so could I get Ethan to come down here and get him to offload these pallets into the, uh, into the brew tank? That's the last one done. So what's it saying? I, I know that we've got to fill the tank with... Oh, it's got to be crushed hop. But I'm glad I left the hop upstairs. Oh, they're already crushed. Oh, I'm so stupid. 
So here we go. There's one. We need eight. So can I actually store these? No, we can't store them there. So we're now on to our final bag. Here we go. And now we need yeast bags. We should have plenty. I've got boxes and boxes of the things. I wonder how much this is going to sell for. I'm hoping we make profit from this. Because this has been expensive and time consuming. We're getting 120 litres of beer. And for future videos, if you guys have any ideas for names of beers you want to see made, then let me know in the comments. I owe the workers loads of money as well. Here we go, wait, uh, wait for the brewing process to finish. It's fermenting, I can't see the time. And there's no way for me to expand this view. And uh, wait, no, I can't even, through management I can't do it. I don't know if you'd be able to see it on the computer, but it would take too long. I need to fire Ethan, he's done nothing for us. There's that 120 litres and then we're obviously going to have to bottle it all up. So this might have to sit here, losing popularity for even longer. Because I can't afford the bottling factory or the docks or anything like that at the moment. And here we go. New buildable item yeast storage. Buy and place a yeast storage. Keep in mind that you need a lot of resources if you want to extend uh, or expand your production. Employees gather yeast on the nearest storage from them. Do we just place one here for now? Have a manpower of minimum three employees. Oh no, what are, the, what are you wanting me to do, game? I was just about to bloody fire Ethan. Wait a minute. Unlock new workstation at Grain Crusher. Do they need to be a certain level? Is that why I can't assign them to anything? Have I been really, really stupid? Well, not necessarily really stupid. But have I missed the... Thing. I, I don't know what their levels do. That's the problem. How do I take you off your... Derek is cleaning. Yeah, there we go. I've taken Derek off there. So, I need you to uh, work and assign a workstation. Please tell me... Wait, could I link you to that? Validate. I can. So, it's based on their bloody level. How did I not fucking see that? Uh, which way do we go? This way. So can you work on this? You are a... Oh, wow. Oh. So it's all based on their level. Buy a new building and unlock the bottling machineries. So are you actually going to... It says storing. You are working on that, and you're linked to that pallet slot. In order to do the bottling, <laughs> it's going to cost two grand. That's uh, really, really expensive. We've got to do uh, more contracts. The problem is, I don't actually have enough money. Because of all the money I've spent on the employees and making that... Uh, Brew, I'm going to have to take out a little loan. So, I've taken on two new contracts. I did take out a $1,000 loan. I kind of needed to. But we have 23 malt coming in so that we can crush it and we can send that off. But we are going to leave that there. We've made a lot of progress in this video. The devs put out a patch and I'm so glad they did. So, so glad they did that because the forklift and the manual jack thing is so much easier to deal with now. We've got an underground facility where we're brewing stuff. We've made a lot of progress. We've done really well. And that is going to do it for this video of Beer Factory. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.